Hey, Tactical Painter, back out in the Suits Crafting Wood Shop. Welcome to Shop Talk Tuesday. It's flannel season, as you can see, so bring on the Al Borland flannel because it's getting cold. It's uh, been a couple of weeks. We actually went on vacation last week, which was wonderful. If you guys uh, logged into my Etsy shop at all last week, you would see that it was on vacation mode. I was out of town, took the family. We all went to Idaho. My wife's got family down in Idaho, and we had a lot of fun out there. Some crazy weather that we saw down there in Idaho. First couple of days, it was like 70, 80 degrees. And then all of a sudden, it dipped down to like 20. And we're like, where in the heck did this come from? It was interesting. We had a great time. Saw a lot of our family down there and uh, had some fun. So good quality time with the kids. It was a nice road trip. And uh, and we're better for it, you know. I, I thank my wife the second to last day that we were there because a lot of times people come back from vacation and they'll be like, you know, I need a vacation from my vacation because we did entirely too much stuff. We crammed in too much trying to fill in all that time that we're away and do as much as we possibly can together. And it really kind of actually takes away from the whole experience, in my personal opinion. And my wife, she set the itinerary for the trip and she did a wonderful job. We did a couple of items, you know, each day, and one of the days we actually just didn't have anything planned. I baked cookies uh, for the the family that took us in while we were on vacation, while we were down there, and, uh, you know, we just had a lot of fun, and we didn't overdo it, and I didn't come back feeling like I needed another vacation immediately, and it was really nice. So I uh, wanted to let you guys know I'm back, and we're going to be having some fun. So immediately after getting back, immediately jumped in, got some stuff done. I had a couple of orders that were pending that came through the day that I was setting my Etsy shop to vacation settings. I actually had one come in while I had my phone in my hands. I'm sliding the slide bar. All of a sudden it's like, cha-ching, like, no, no, I'm going on vacation. And so that one had to wait. Um, but we've been working on that immediately. And then had a few things that I was prepping for to get onto the Etsy shop once I came back. And so if you guys are following me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or any of those sites, you'll have already seen these. I've got dye stabilized maple burl up on my Etsy site. So if you guys want to get your hands on some dye stabilized maple burl, I'm getting out an assortment of colors. So far, I've got just the three. And they are as such. I've got electric blue, and these are fantastic. I love how these turned out. They are a glorious color. It really makes the burl pop. This section here actually has some spalting in it, and that spalting section um, often won't take dye, and so it's a really neat and unique piece. And then this one even has a little bit of it up here in the corner. And just look at how the waves go through those and it catches the light and it moves and it changes directions and just just beautiful stuff love the electric blue it's one of my favorite colors that i've done so far also got teal green check that one out it is a lovely color as well it's got really good waves going through it it catches the light and it rolls and it does all sorts of fun effects this one has some of that spalting too, so you know areas of it won't die, and that's just because of how the wood is made up, but it is absolutely beautiful. I love how these turned out, and I could not be happier with them. They're really cool, and I'm going to be doing up a bunch more of these. These were just kind of tester pieces. I actually had a customer that had ordered a whole bunch of die-stabilized uh, pieces of wood that he sent me, and I die-stabilized those up, and while I had those in there, I threw these in, and I just loved them so much, and I know that you guys will love them, and so I figured I'd just throw them up for you guys to purchase uh, so that you can get your hands on them and get them going before the holiday season because that's right around the corner too. And the last color that I've got up so far, I'm going to be getting more colors out. I just haven't done any of them yet, um, but they are in the works. But the last one has got to be one of the coolest ones. I can hardly even get it on camera here because it's so bright. This one is called Extreme Pink, and as you can see, it is extreme. Uh, it actually fluoresces under a black light, uh, and it is beautiful. If you guys or gals like pink, this one is for you. This is such a vibrant, bright pink um, that it, it just it just glows. It just beams and literally glows under a black light. Um, and it's just really beautiful the way that the light catches in it here too. Oh, there's a good angle right there. The way that the light will catch in all of the burling sections is just stupendous. I could not be happier 
with that extreme pink. And it's it's weird stuff because like the dye uh, itself, it uh, it looks like like uh, highlighter pens. You know, highlighter pens, the fluid that comes out of those. That's what the dye looks like for this. It just looks like it's just highlighter fluid, and uh, it's really neat stuff. Um, it actually the resin with the dye in it itself is kind of an orangish color, but then as soon as it absorbs into the wood, it turns pink. It's really a stupendous stuff, and it's for sale in my shop. So if you guys want to get your hands on some of these, I've got them going in the shop. Come by, check them out, suitscrafting.etsy.com, and we've got some of those. I'm going to be also doing some double dye stabilize. I've already got a few. These ones don't have any finish on them, but you guys can see them here. So this one is blue with green. You can see there's still, you know, some sections just will not take the dye. Um, they'll stabilize, but they won't absorb the dye like the rest of the regular wood. But these don't have any finish on them, but you can still see blue and green in there. And same goes for this one. You can see the green up there on the top and then blue down at the bottom. I got too close and it got bright. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's really stupendous. Let me get some denatured alcohol over here. So there they are, blue and green, really beautiful. And uh, let me show you this other one here. You can see the blue and green cutting through there. Just awesome. Absolutely love how these are turning out. And uh, I've actually turned up some of these. And uh, the one that I went with didn't take up a whole lot of the green. It was mostly blue, and I turned a pen out of it, and that video is going to be coming out here real soon. I'll throw a photo up here just so you guys can see it, but you can see those blue-greens. They are just awesome. Could not be happier with those. They are so cool. So there you have it again. Love how those turned out. So I'm going to be doing some of those. Um, I'm going to have some uh, green with blue and then blue with green. So when you guys are looking at the listing, um, it's going to say blue with green and that means it's going to be primary color of blue and then green as a secondary so i'll do like a a real quick vacuum on it absorb a whole bunch of blue and then release it bake it and then clean up the blank and then bring it back out and then do a full vacuum on green and any areas that didn't get hit with the blue will get hit with green and so green will be like a secondary color it'll be just kind of a hint of green areas where the blue didn't get absorbed in that initial vacuum pull and then release and then uh, if it's green with blue that means green's going to be the primary and blue will be the secondary and so um, we've got green with blue blue with green blue with pink and we've got all sorts of different um, assortments that you're going to be able to choose from once i get those set up so i've got a whole bunch of maple burl that i've been getting stockpiled you guys may have seen my video from last week i'll throw a card up here in the top corner uh, where I showed off a whole bunch of wood that I brought in stock. That was in preparation for these uh, blanks. So I've got a whole bunch of maple burl that I'm going to be doing these uh, double dyed stabilizing uh, and the just single die stabilizing. But I wanted to get these ones out, get you guys uh, shown what they look like, so that way you can make a decision on what you want. Let me know down in the show notes if you're going to be interested in it or if there's anything else that you'd like to see uh, go up on there any colors that you'd be interested in uh, one other color that I did order from them is Aztec gold And so that's gonna be one of the next ones that I'm gonna get put up because I'm really excited to see how the Aztec gold looks I think it's gonna be a neat one and I'm really excited for it So when I came back from vacation I said that I was working on a pen and I actually had one of my first failures in a couple of years uh, with a wood pen. Now I've had some failures with resin. You guys have heard me talk about it before when I switched over to the Easy Wood Tools. Um, it, you know, it had a little bit of a learning curve before they came out with the negative rake scrapers when cutting resin with the Easy Wood Tools. Uh, but I had my first actual failure uh, with a wood blank uh, recently, and actually just this morning. And it was really unfortunate. And it was mostly unfortunate because it's on a piece of Amboynia Burl. And if you guys know, Amboynia Burl is not cheap to come by. Uh, and so when it happened, I was really kind of, I don't want to say devastated. Um, it happened and I immediately knew what I was going to do to fix it. And what I had to do to fix it was I either could find the piece and get it replaced into the blank. Or I was just going to have to start it over because it was not a small section.
here's where it broke off. So you can see that large section of brass there where that wood chunked out. And then there was actually a small section here on the back side right there. And then on the cap as well, there was this small little section that chunked out there. And so it was kind of, it was unfortunate. I had a feeling it might happen because this, uh, this piece of Amboynia actually had a lot of uh, little uh, cracks and, and checkering and things from the drying process. It just, it dried out too quickly and just had all these little check marks that I was going to have to fill in. And I noticed there were some few uh, pieces on the ends. And the back of my head, when I saw them, when I was truing up the faces, I said, you know, I should really throw, should throw some CA glue on the face of that. And I didn't, and I wish that I had, and because I think that may have prevented it more. But my main failure was, if you look inside of there, don't know how well you can see it, but it is shiny, smooth. I made an amateur mistake and I did not sand my brass tubes before gluing them in and so that was a big oops and I, I wish that I had caught that before I glued them in. You know, roughing them up, it makes it so that glue will adhere just so much better and if I had done that, I think that it would have not uh, come apart and as I was going back and forth, I could hear that it started to vibrate on the end but it was already too late. The piece had already flown off. It was unfortunate, but we're going to move on. Already cut, drilled, glued, and trued up some new pieces. And so I'm going to get it made out of those. And that's all right. It's still a piece of Amboyne Burl. It's absolutely gorgeous wood. And with this one, you know, I'm undecided what I'm going to do with it. Uh, usually I would just, you know, if it were like a resin casting, I'd just clean off the brass and then recover my brass. But with it being Amboyne Burl, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I've got some uh, Mother of Pearl, and I think I'm going to take some Mother of Pearl and I will glue it onto the brass tube and kind of build up a Mother of Pearl layer and fill in that void. And then same on that one on the back, and then this one over here, and a couple of these cracks, I'll stick some Mother of Pearl down into those cracks and then fill them in with CA glue. And then uh, I think I'll either keep that pen for myself, or if it looks really neat, I'll throw it online. People can try and buy it, and uh, we'll just go from there. But, I mean, it's it's gorgeous wood. It's a really nice piece, and I don't want it to go to waste, even though I made an amateur mistake with it. Uh, I think that I can still salvage it. Um, I remember watching Mythbusters years ago. You know, Adam Savage, you know, always said, failure is always an option. And it's not the failures that define you it's how you recover from them so i'm going to recover making a brand new pen for the customer and i'm going to salvage these somehow i even had a school teacher years ago that said a true woodworker isn't a person who never makes mistakes it's a person who knows how to cover up his mistakes and make it look like it was intentional so that's what we're going to do here is i'm going to cover them up and make it look like it was intentional and we'll just go from there up to about 375 subscribers now, so that's pretty exciting. I'm um, looking to get up to a thousand. I want to get up to a thousand uh, coming into the next few months, and I'm thinking about doing a giveaway in order to do that. So if you guys are interested in a giveaway, let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, I'm thinking about giving away some pen blanks, bottle stopper blanks. Uh, if you guys are interested in doing bottle stopper blanks, I'd be happy to do bottle stopper blanks as well. Um, maybe even doing some like dragon egg blanks like uh, Ben's Works has been doing. So if you guys have any interest in anything like that, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below. And uh, I'm going to be gearing up to do a thousand subscriber giveaway. So you guys just let me know what you think and we will get that going. So that's it for this week. Uh, go ahead and check out some of my other videos here on the sides. Be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. This is Tactical Painter out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop signing out. Be sure to check out my video coming this Sunday. We're going to be doing one. It's going to be a Cosmic Cloud Pinecone pen blank. So be sure to check that out. And if it's already past Sunday, you guys have seen this in the future, it'll be right down here in the bottom corner. Take care and happy turning.